Hello, World Civ 107. Welcome to week two. And I just want to say that uh, I really think that the majority of you are starting out really strong. And I'm liking the work that I see come in. Uh, for those of you who have had me before, though, I'm already seeing that you didn't pay attention to my last note. Uh, that I are notes that I posted in my announcement. Now, look, um, this semester, I really am going to start making sure that everybody's listening to my announcements. So I will throw some surprise quizzes based on announcements if it looks like folks are not paying attention to my announcements, okay? So as I mentioned, uh, due to various circumstances I don't need to go into, uh, I need to make sure that the Sunday papers have are, 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 are cited in some way. I gave an example of what I, I want to see in my example of Sunday papers in the last announcement. I don't need to revisit this. Just go back and, and look that over. So that's it. Some of you are also finding out that you get zeros when you don't have dates for time periods. And I'm allowing this week for people to um, fix that. But this is the last week, though. I just want to say, because I, I had too much to struggle with this for the last two semesters. And I don't know why. Um, I need to repeat myself on this, so I'm just going to just say right now. In the papers, there needs to be work cited and there needs to be dates for time periods. You do that, follow what I'm asking, and you get your 15 points, and it's not that hard. As many of you who have had me know, once you get this formula down, you're good to go. <clears throat> Regarding the notes, yes, you have to take notes on all the videos. Now, this first week for a class, I took it a little easier on you in terms of how much that you saw. I realized, and I apologize, that may have been misleading to some of you in kind of seeing that this is the amount of time that you would need to budget, as opposed to understanding that I was just kind of making it a little bit easier for you to start into a week one with this class. So basically, you're gonna have the lectures that I do, and then I'm gonna add one to two uh, documentaries um, to complement the, the the lectures but I think that you will find it's really helpful in learning uh, about the information and you'll see that it'll say that you need to have four notes on on average for a longer uh, video that's closer to an hour okay this is going to be the most uh, time-consuming part of the, uh, the class work but I think once you get the routine down, you're going to find it works out great. As I've I always mentioned, if you're trying to do all the video notes last minute, that's going to be uh, a problem for you. And it's going to make, it's not only going to be harder, you're not going to be learning as much because you're just stressing out to get all the notes, writing them down, hurry, hurry, hurry before it's uh, 11.59 p.m., you know, and it's midnight. So um, keep in mind that I try to get each week open on Sunday uh, for the next week uh, by noon. Um, I'm not obligated to do that, and at times I may, ha it may, I may have to come later, but that's what I try to do for you so that you can get on top of um, next week work if Sunday is a day that you use to um, you know, get work done, okay? Um, <clears throat> let's see, anything else? Um, and okay, so, this week, you're going to see also that we're going straight into really, really appropriate material for understanding certain things about what's happening now. The only weakness that can be in this, and, and this is done by experts, and it's something that I just critique, is reading too much into past uh, geopolitical things and... Um, kind of using this as a blueprint to always understand what's happening now. So there's two kind of extremes. There's people who just ignore history and how relevant it can help explain the certain things. And then others kind of use it as if, if there's some sort of DNA uh, in the system that makes everything that you see somehow completely connected to, to that history. And so one of the things that I want to make clear, and it's brought in at the end of the last video, is that Shiites and Sunnis, knowing about this, this kind of conflict within the Islamic world, 
explains a lot of the power play differences. But it needs to be understood that many Muslims really don't care or think about the Sunni Shiite thing so much. And I do know many Muslims that grew up with one parent being Shiite and one Sunni. My father grew up uh, Catholic and my mother grew up Protestant. I'm sure in America, for many, this is normal. In Northern Ireland, uh, where there's been a conflict between Protestants and, and Catholics, there is, uh, this is more of a sensitive topic, while in America it's not so much. In the last uh, several decades, due to um, the geopolitical um, circumstances, Shiites and Sunnis are, have a relationship on an all-time low. But it's not, it's not so inherently, it doesn't, it's not like you, I just want you to know that, that, that there's certain parts of history where that's not so accentuated. That's my whole point. And in fact, you'll kind of see this with many things. So Jews, Christians, and Muslims have lived in different communities, uh, dominated by either one. And sometimes it goes very well and sometimes not. And it depends on certain regimes and different time periods under different contexts. And um, that's what I kind of want to help show all of you. So um, I hope I'm not getting you too confused. Uh, I do work two 10-hour days uh, at my other job. Um, I'm going to have off uh, Wednesday and Thursday. I'll be grading and being able to be more readily available. I want to remind you again, if you need to contact me about anything, text me in the next two days. And then I can call you back or text you back. Uh, on my lunch break or my breaks at my other job. So that's the best way to get a hold of me. And if you're not texting me and you're asking me questions uh, in other ways, I'll realize that you didn't listen to this uh, announcement and I'll make sure that you go back and listen to this announcement. Um, so just do that. Now, you, you can write me on Canvas. Um, just don't expect me to get back to you as quickly as if you just text me. That's all, okay? Um, Anything else? I think that's it. Uh, I hope you're having a great week and uh, we'll be in touch as needed.